Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ash. Um, so sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time. My cousin's visiting, so my sister's gotta stay in my room. So I don't have a lot of privacy. And that's also why I have terrible lighting and I'm in a different place, because she, my sister's staying over there, where I usually make my videos. So, yeah, sorry for the lighting. Um, so I didn't know what video to make today. So I, like, googled some ideas, and so I decided to tell a story, because I'm really bad at this. Um, would y'all shush? I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell the story about when I watched someone literally almost die. Would y'all shut the fuck up? <laughs> okay, anyways, so, um, my family, like, we're really into rodeos. Like, I'm literally in a farmhouse right now. There are a bunch of horses outside right now. So, like, my family, we're really into all that rodeo and cowboy stuff, but, like, I'm not. <laughs> so, um, my uncle, ever since he was, like, two years old, he was riding sheeps, calves, uh, steers, bulls, and eventually he got to bullfighting. And now he's passing that passion on to my little brother. Um, so I'm the oldest kid of four, being raised by a single mom, meaning I'm basically raising my siblings. So... Um, I have, like, all the parental instincts. So, imagining my 4 foot 4 9-year-old brother on a giant, angry sack of beef terrifies the crap out of me. Like, it- it's scary. Um, for those of you who don't know, it is really scary. Like, scarier than Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, scarier than Zootopia. That movie was scary. Fuck. Hate that movie. Don't laugh. Um, so anyways- I remember one rodeo that I went to last year that my brother was in, and he was riding calves, so, you know, it wasn't too bad, but, um, this rodeo, they did a game called the Ring of Fire, which most rodeos do them, um, but the Ring of Fire, basically, it, the objective of the game is to be the last man or woman standing in the ring. The twist to the game is they send out the biggest, angriest, and meanest bull, uh, they send it out into the ring with you. Um, so yeah, you have to be the last man or woman standing with that bull, like, literally killing you. Um, okay, <coughs> so, <laughs> um, at this rodeo, okay, so normally to the other rodeos that I go to, there are pretty smart people in the crowd, but at this rodeo, there are some pretty smart people in the crowd. And so when they said that they were doing the, game, the, the Ring of Fire, um, out walked like four guys, I think. They walked out into the arena, and they just stood there waiting, like, um, they, they stood there waiting for the bull to, like, you know, kill them. The second the chute opened and the bull ran out, three of the four guys booked it to the fence. Like, you couldn't even see them. They ran so fast. And, like, I'm over here watching them trying to get over the fence, and I'm terrified. I can feel my heart beating faster than they were running. And then I look over and I see, oh my god, crap, there's still another guy in there. What are you doing, man? And then the bull turns around and sees him too, and they stared at each other down for like a good minute and a half. Like, you can feel the tension all the way from the stands. Like, it was intense. And then suddenly the bull decides that he's going to go after this guy. So the bull charges and the guy, like, sidesteps. But he sidesteps too slow. And this part, oh my god, I can still hear it. I, like... You could hear the bull's horns penetrating the protective vest that they gave the guy. Because, like, you know, for obvious reasons, they gave the contestants um, vests to protect them because it's a bull. But when the bull um, hit the guy, you could seriously hear the horns penetrating the vest. And it was so scary. Like, I can still hear it right now. You're just thinking about it. Oh, my God. It was awful. So... Then the bull, like, the guy, this guy is, like, stuck on this bull's horns. The bull throws his head up and, like, throws this guy a good 50 feet across the arena. Like, this, this arena is a good, like, what, 50, 60 feet? The bull throws the guy all the way across the arena, and I see him land and bounce, like, three times. And I'm like, oh my god, what are we going to do? <clears throat> and then the bull turns around and runs right over the guy. And then turns around and runs over him again. And I'm like, oh my god, guys, get him out of there. He's going to die. And my sister's sitting next to me. I look over at my sister and she's like, oh my god, yes! 
This is the best rodeo ever. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? This guy's getting murdered out here and you're cheering the bull on? Well, the bull must have hurt her because the bull like turned around and ran over this guy again. And then he turned around and picked up the guy with his horns again and threw him again. Like right, right on the fence where I was. Like, okay, so if I'm sitting right here, the fence was right here, the bull threw the guy and he hit the fence and like, oh, I thought I was gonna die. God, it was, it was scary. Someone's burning tortillas. Okay. <laughs> Random. Um, I got distracted. So, like, I see this guy, like, he crumples to the ground, and I, like, they finally get the bull back into the chute, and they, like, this guy somehow, like, stands up all by himself. Like, the crowd, we're standing there clapping for him. Like, we're applauding him for a good five minutes, because he just stood up all by himself after all of this. And, like, I looked at his mangled body, and it was covered in dust and what I'm gonna call cherry Kool-Aid, because, um, violence is not the answer. So, like, I look at this guy, and I'm about to throw up, and my sister's over here cheering, my uncle is, like, cringing because he's trying to get this guy out of here, and, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm, I don't know if I want to throw up, or if I want to cry, or if I want to scream, like, I don't know what to do. Because, like, I'm not like these people. I don't... Mm -mm. I... I'm a yuppie, as my uncle calls me. I belong in the city. I like city lines and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't like horses and stuff like that. I mean, I guess I like animals and I like solitude. But I hate it out here. Um... So, like, this guy, he's, like, almost dying... And I, like, I feel so bad for him, and I want to go out there and help him, but, like, I'm scared to get up because, like, what if they let the bull out? <laughs> that I'm gonna die. I don't want to die. I'm... I mean, I do, but, like, no. Um, so, yeah, like, that rodeo terrified me. Like, to this day, I will not go to another rodeo if they're doing the Ring of Fire. Like... I will never participate in a rodeo. My kids will never participate in a rodeo. Actually, you know what? As long as they don't do, like, the Ring of Fire or bullfighting, I don't care if they do it. But, like, I am i won't go watch anything like that anymore because, like, I was so scared. Like, it made me sick for three days. I'm not even kidding. I threw up for three days just because of that rodeo. Like, it was bad. It was so scary for me. But, like, that rodeo is the reason I will never be like my family. Because, like, they're over here cheering for this bull, and I'm like, guys, this guy's being murdered, and you're cheering. I'm like, guys, what is wrong with you? My family's really bad. <laughs> Help me. So, yeah, that's my story about the time I almost watched someone die. Um, uh, like, subscribe, comment what video you want me to do next below. Tell your friends about me. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Bye.